Yeah, Chris Hurst is in Orlando for us. He's been there with the refugees who, who fled this hurricane, gathered there in the Orlando area. Chris, uh, how are people feeling there? Are they hesitant to leave? Because I'm sure many of them, wherever their homes are, they don't have power. They don't have clean drinking water right now. Yeah, Dave and Courtney, I think you're exactly right. Everybody wants to go home. The question is, is you know, what is the real value in me going home right now if there's no power, if I don't necessarily have access to a sewer or drinking water? Uh, and so many of the people that we've talked to, only a few uh, didn't have hotels booked through at least today. Tomorrow, some planning to check out on Saturday. And uh, even though they really do want to get back home, they are willing to wait out a couple more days because they know uh, that there is just debris everywhere uh, from down trees, power lines, and that crews are working just as hard as they can, but it might be a few days no matter where you live uh, before you're able to get power. Now here in Orlando, we did see the full effects from Milton across over uh, Orange County as a category one hurricane. The top wind speed here at the Orlando International Airport was 87 miles an hour. The airport only accepting a couple arriving flights tonight. No departures until tomorrow. Disney Universal, they're both closed today. As everyone's taking a deep breath and starting that cleanup, uh, now now that Milton is out, it is still overcast here, not quite as sunny as it is uh, back in the Bay Area. Now, we talked to folks who are here at the Doubletree Hotel, also at a, at a restaurant down the street. And uh, I want to show you a soundbite now from Tom Cava. He's from Bradenton. He's here with his wife and their friend. They got hit hard by Helene, but they think, they think they made it through Milton. Okay. I have a friend there, but she got some damage to her house also. Uh, we're in the Cordova Lakes area, Bradenton. Did see some uh, damage that has been done in the area. Now, we asked him if storm surge or floodwaters would be a potential concern for where uh, he lived. Based off of uh, what he saw from the observations of storm surge, he thinks he's going to be okay. So uh, maybe just some down branches in his yard. Hopefully they avoided uh, the structure of his home, uh, Dave and Courtney. But there are lots of other people here uh, who are deciding to stay. We saw a few check out, eager to get back home. But there's a restaurant down the street, and that's where a lot of families from the Tampa Bay area have been spending time. One of the few restaurants, actually, that's open today. Uh, we met three women who live in a condominium in South St. Pete. They were there at that restaurant. They're at a different hotel about a mile away. So uh, after we get done here, we're going to go down to that hotel, check in with them, and then bring you their story later on in the 5 o'clock hour. Dave and Courtney, back yeah, to you. If, if there's food, Chris will find it, no doubt about it. <laughs>